You guys know how when you drink alcohol, you get a hangover and stuff because it's it's uh, it's killing your brain cells because it's uh, not good for you. It's just trying to keep you comfortably numb because you want to die because life is miserable. No, well, that's what you do. But it's, there's also certain foods like, you know, processed, extremely processed foods that are similar. You know, like gummy bears and worms and, and things and stuff like that. And so you, they, they're they hard to digest. They clog up in your intestine. Your body starts to reject them and figure out. I had processed, uh, I made nachos, Amy nachos, and the processed cheese and that stuff doesn't digest real well. And it was instantaneous, oh, crud, crud in the nose. And, okay. and you think uh, milky green, you know, the lime, slimy green, you, you rat bastard, that someone like Sheldon would know that. Okay, I had those nacho things. So it, it definitely correlates. Well, maybe it may not correlate as much because he becomes more adapted to the crap because he lives in Pasadena or Altadena. But I don't know. But you would think, hell, I do. It's, oh, 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 ah, you know. But the, the one guy I watched with the thing with the beans, no, beans aren't a problem, guys. Just do certain things with your intestine and stuff. The big thing with your intestine is make sure you chew your food and don't inhale it, okay? Um, your teeth are part of your digestive system. And you chew it well first so it, you know, it, it all does its process well. And then it just processes your food. Just don't inhale your food. Chew your food, Okay. It, it make it an exercise, you know, so many times, like, you know, you brush your teeth or whatever and stuff. And so do stuff like that. So just do little things that help uh, keep you comfortable throughout your life and, and enjoy your food instead of inhaling. I think you're inhaling most of your food because you're uh, not enjoying your time because it's so torturous and, and horrible. And I see people, morbid obesia, just hating life because they can't compete and they just want to eat food and die. And and uh, I, I can't stand you uh, selfish people for doing that. So I'm going to kick you all in the the sexual quarters as hard as humanly possible. Because look what you've done to me. You know, you you put me into jobs where they mass murder people through sex slave trades and stuff. And had chemicals in that tortured me and made me sick and tired and my gut problems and all that stuff. And, you know, and we'll, we'll help save you. I'll live the Lord's Prayer. I can't help save you. Uh, one guy in Sierra Vista, you know, you're so, really should be so selfish because I'm a similitude of Adam, Moses, David, Jesus, John. So in the future, Jesus goes, oh, boy, Earl's a great guy. Look at him. He's not making Continental Tire commercials talking about how good his past for millions of dollars was to Christian Leitler and smiling about it. That's true. Earl's saying, hey, let's live the Lord's Prayer so we don't end up being an asshole on TV so we can fill ourselves in molecular similitude and spirit being assholes thinking you were being a great guy and how I've acted like Adolf Hitler's fart. Yeah. Damn. Stinky. Pucci que pesta. Knock that shit off. You see what I'm saying? Jean de Q. That's a day. Ula de que he no ha. Do you guys get it? Copy, copy. No. Ori chori. No. You guys are stupid. Okay. <laughs> It's hard teaching stupid people uh, about different uh, perspectives of what's perceived as different religions and molecular similitudes of, you know, how to be eternally proud of yourself if you're a faithful person and how to go hide your head and bury it when you're acting like shit and you should stop. Oh, you guys want a guilt-free zone to work out in? Where are your legs? Okay, I love you. Get out the wheelchair. You can walk again. Well, because I talk right and walk right again. You can walk and talk like me. Because I'm gorgeous and you suck. Okay, well, I'll keep it up.